Now we move on to the structure of the male reproductive system. Reproduction takes place with the help of reproductive organs. So let us see which are the organs involved in reproduction in case of males. Now first very important is males have a pair of testes, one of the most important organs involved in reproduction. Now when we say testes, when we spell it as T-E-S-T-I-S, -E it refers to singular and plural we refer to testes, that is E-S. Now let's see about the testes in detail. Now testes are the organs that produces sperms in case of males, that is a male germ cells. My dear friends, these testes are located outside the abdominal cavity. They are not located inside the abdomen along with the other organs, but they are located outside in a bag which is called as the scrotum. The bag in which the testes are located is called as the scrotum. Now why is it so that the testes are located outside the body? Because for the production of sperms, the testes require a little lower temperature as compared to the body temperature and that is why the testes are located outside the body to meet up that requirement of lower temperature because sperm production cannot happen at body temperature. It requires a little lower temperature and apart from producing sperms, the testes also secrete a hormone, a chemical named as testosterone and this testosterone hormone is responsible for bringing about the changes in boys which we saw that occur during puberty. The hormone is testosterone hormone. Going forward, adjacent to the testes, we have another organ which is called as the epididymis. I repeat, near the testes, attached to the testes, we have another organ called as the epididymis. Now what happens in epididymis? The sperms which are produced in the testes are immature sperms. So these immature sperms are then sent to the epididymis where they become mature and they are stored. So we say that the immature sperms travel to the epididymis for development and storage. Now the next tube-like structures that come out from the epididymis, these tube-like structures, this thin tube-like structures is known as the vas deferens. Now what is the function of the vas deferens? It is a passage through which the sperms travel towards the urethra. Urethra is the internal part of the penis through which the sperms come out. But for reaching the sperms to the urethra, this passage is called as the vas deferens. They carry the sperms from the epididymis till the urethra. Now this orange colored organ that you can see, the big one, this is the urinary bladder. Now my dear friends, urinary bladder has no role to play in the reproductive system. But then if you see, below the urinary bladder and adjacent to the urinary bladder, there are two important structures. Now these are two important glands in the reproductive system. And because they are attached to the urinary bladder, we have to draw this in the diagram. Now, adjacent to the urinary bladder on the lower side, you can see two finger-like projections. These glands are called as the seminal vesicles. And below the urinary bladder, the pink colored gland is called as the prostate gland. So the two glands are the seminal vesicle and the prostate gland. Now the function of these glands that they produce a fluid which acts as a medium, as a transport medium 
to bring the sperms out of the body and also provide nutrition to the sperms and this fluid is called as the ejaculatory fluid which carries the sperms and this fluid is secreted by the seminal vesicle and the prostate gland and the last part of the male reproductive system is the penis and the internal passage is called as the urethra now the function of the penis it is that portion of the reproductive system that delivers the sperms to the site of fertilization that means inside the female reproductive system where fertilization is going to take place so that is the function of the penis it delivers the sperms to the site of fertilization